Hello, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. Firstly, let me apologise for the fact that I sound very gravelly. I am full of a winter cold and so there may be some very disjointed editing where I sneeze, cut that bit out, have a coughing fit, cut that bit out. And also, apologies for the fact that I look a bit rubbish. It is what it is. <laughs> welcome to week 17, year two, week 17 of Carla's Calorie Crush and unusually I need to start with a little bit of sponsored material. So I don't normally pop sponsored posts into the calorie crush because it isn't normally particularly, what's the word I want? Relevant, Norm isn't normally particularly relevant. But today's sponsored post has some relevance because it's clothing. As you know, one of my main motivating factors to losing weight was to be able to buy clothes easily, to not be limited to only one supplier of clothing or you know lots of high street stores have gone recently I've, I was down to the place where I could only shop at one place and that was yours clothing now I love their clothes but I wanted to have choice I wanted to have options so when New Chic got in touch and asked me if I'd like to have some free gifted items from their range to try I said lovely thank you very much so in the interest of full disclosure I have not paid for the items I'm about to show you I have not been paid a fee for promoting these items but I have received the items free of charge a couple of the items aren't even for me and they aren't clothing but ask me if I would order a variety of things so that you guys could see some of the different things that they did so I've ordered two bags I think these are funky I think they might be a bit Marmite um, by Marmite just in case you're, you're not in the UK if you're in the UK you'll know what the phrase Marmite means but if you're not from the UK that might, might, might be a bit of an obscure phrase for you it means you either love it or you hate it. And the reason we say it's a bit Marmite is because they did an advertising campaign in which you either love it or you hate it. So I think these bags might be a bit Marmite. I really quite like them. They are both long strap crossbody messenger bags and they're a kind of a felted material. I'm sure I'm describing it badly, but they're a kind of felted material with an abstract kind of... That one's a village street and this one is houses in a night sky it's i i quite like i think they're funky i think they're a bit different they come in handy packaging nice long strap on there decent quality it feels pretty good and i think they're fun i think they are a fun summer bag i'm i'm, a, I'm one of those people have a summer bag or a winter bag i think that's a fun summer bag so i will put the um the prices on the screen for the items and also i'll put the, all the links will be in the description box as well if you want to go and check those out and then there's an item that isn't for me i ordered these for natalie for part of her christmas present they are pajamas with a zebra on the front and zebra print cropped trousers when i saw those i thought natalie will love those and so i ordered those so very pleased with those as well again nice quality something i think you find when you order what is let's face it inexpensive clothing from overseas it is more budget conscious clothing shall we say that sometimes the sizing doesn't compute um for example some of the some of the overseas companies it might say 3xl and it might actually equate to a uk 16 i don't think any, anyone who is a uk 16 would like to consider themselves to be a 3xl so yeah the the sizing sometimes gets lost in translation I'd like to blame that for why my clothes don't fit. I think, I think if I'm honest, I was just a little bit over ambitious when I ordered size wise. <laughs> so I ordered this gray waffle jumper. Now this does fit. I have tried it on and it does fit me. It fits in the body, it doesn't fit in the length. So it's quite a nice jumper. It's not as soft as I would have hoped it to be, but then it is new, it hasn't been washed at all. Perhaps once it's been through a wash, it will come up, come through a bit softer. But it's a great, just a grey waffle weave jumper. On the model it's very, very oversized and slouchy and perhaps I was a bit ambitious expecting a budget friendly overseas range to be able to produce oversized for someone who is already, let's face it, oversized. Perhaps that was a bit ambitious of me. <laughs> it's a bit snug, it's not oversized and slouchy on me. This one is for the summer. It's a lovely linen top, I can't unfold it, bear with. 
it's a lovely linen top in navy and beige. I love this style of top. It is exactly what I would like for the summer months. And I'm hoping by the summer months I have slimmed down a little bit around the tummy because it fits beautifully on the top, but it's a bit snug around the... I would call it a waist, but I don't think I have a waist. Around the wasteland. <laughs> and ditto with this one. It is... This is Zanzea, which I've, I've seen Zanzea in the shops here, in, in charity shops or whatever. And I've often wondered where does Zanzea come from, so now we know. This is another lovely linen summer top three quarter sleeve this is an oversized kind of cut and on me it was oversized on my shoulders but again a little bit snug around the tummy because the tummy isn't going down as quickly as I would like it to so I'd like to say thank you for sending me these lovely items from their range to have a look at and to be able to show you guys there will be links in the description box and a code for a discount if you would like to use it let's have a look or let's have a talk about this week's weight loss or gain as the case may be as you know i did not record last week until the wednesday morning because i was literally run off my feet monday and tuesday but i did get on the scales on the monday and i'd gained half a pound and i was quite relieved about that and in it, it's some weirdness in my head after I'd recorded the video Wednesday I think in my head it was Monday because I don't think I ate particularly well again then Wednesday was it the 8th it was the 8th yeah so on the Wednesday there I was recording the video and I think in my head it was Monday and as we know I always struggle with Mondays being a day when I can do whatever I want I think I did that Wednesday Wednesday started really really well I had porridge for breakfast had a subway chicken salad for lunch we're all good so far and today i went out in the evening to get mcdonald's and i had my heart set on trying one of their um festive crispy chicken burgers which i did i didn't need the fries and i didn't need the cheese melts but i still had them at this point i was just about within calories however when we got home anthony took the lid off the quality street off the quality street tub i'm blaming anthony obviously not anthony's fault because as soon as he took the lid off i flew across the room like a ravening horde and I managed to eat a thousand calories of quality. And now, a thousand calories of quality sheet is about 14 chocolates, which I suppose is quite a lot. But I ate them over the course of the evening. <laughs> but what I'm saying is basically I treated Wednesday like it was Monday and I misbehaved. That was bad. Thursday, I was okay. Thursday, I pulled it back. I came in under calories, no problem. Friday, we travelled up to Hitchin. And I think I went into holiday mode. I think I went into holiday mode because again I had breakfast Friday, no problem. I think I had a protein, yeah, I had a protein cereal bar thing, which I'm trying out a couple of them to see if I like them. The answer is I don't really. Um, lunch, we stopped for lunch on the way. I had a wrap. Evening meal, I had um, chicken fried rice and some Peshawari naan. All of that is fine, but in between all of that, and I don't think I filmed most of the snacks because I was driving and grazing as I was driving. In between those meals, which were okay, I ate. Two Reese's trees, I'm reading it off my phone. Two Reese's trees, two pieces of light fruit cake, two ice spice buns, and a bag of crisps. A big bag of crisps. Grazed throughout the day, really, whilst driving. I think I was just off the leash. I think I was I think I was just out of control. I think I was just doing what the hell I want because I'm going away for the weekend. Hurrah! I woke up Saturday morning with regrets. I woke up Saturday morning going, why did you do that? That was silly. You didn't need to do that. And so Saturday, I very much kept myself in, in, in check. I went 100 calories over on Saturday, which for a day out went with two pub meals, blah, blah, blah. That's not too bad. I was okay with that. By the time we came on Sunday, I was starting to feel poorly. I have done COVID tests, by the way. If anybody's putting two and two together and going, oh, they went to a meetup and now she's not well. I have done COVID tests. I do not have COVID. I just have a stinking winter cold. But I was starting to feel portly and so I was starting to go off the idea of eating and so it was very easy to stay within calories on uh, Sunday. And yesterday, which doesn't... I'm, I'm recording this Tuesday, by the way, because I didn't get, didn't get it done yesterday because I was poorly in bed. Um, yesterday comes into next week's food diary, so I shouldn't really be telling you about it. Yesterday I was well under because I couldn't face moving, finding food, eating food, breathing. I just let in bed feeling very sorry for myself. <laughs> So essentially what I'm saying is that although I bust out in two places this week, I did pull it back by the weekend. I'm pleased that I pulled it back. And um, come and have a look at the food diary. You can see all the stuff I did record. I've, like I said, I've, I've logged everything I've eaten. It'll all be there, even though if there isn't any filming, it's all there in the food diary. And then I'll hop on the scales. 
Breakfast on Monday, coconut oat so simple porridge with banana and chop shot. The lunch, jacket potato with tuna mayonnaise at Costco. My evening meal is two of the Iceland peri peri chicken skewers with some savoury rice, some salad, light mayo and crucials mint sauce. For the rest of Tuesday, I did not have any more meals. I simply consumed, over the course of the day, half a box of bloody biscuits. 1,515 calories. Breakfast on Wednesday is porridge, banana and chop shop. Wednesday lunch is a roast chicken Subway salad. Breakfast on Thursday, porridge, banana and chalk shop. Roast beef carvery meal, 1,141 calories. Meal is a cheese top roll with ham in it and a yoghurt and it's... 329 calories. Breakfast on Friday is this cookie dough high protein bar from Aldi. It's 219 calories. I hope it's nice, the last protein bar I had wasn't. Lunch is a lamb kofta wrap. I have no idea of the calories. Breakfast is toast and butter and it's twice the amount of this because I've already had half of it before I can remember to film. Lunch, Weatherspoon's 8 ounce sirloin steak with jacket potato, 754 calories. Evening meal, Weatherspoon's again, jacket potato with beans and salad, 548 calories. Breakfast this morning is a Weatherspoon's small traditional breakfast with bacon, hash brown, beans, sausage and egg. And how many calories? Four. <laughs> I don't know, it's on the menu. 460 calories. Lovely. Lunch, I've got a corn layered salad, some hard boiled eggs and some melon. And probably a rice cake. I've got, I've gone very Becca. A rice cake. A rice cake. Sunday's evening meal is a M&S chicken korma with rice. Last week I weighed 276 and a half pounds. It's Monday, it's scales time. It's 275.4, I ran that up to 275 and a half, I think that's a loss of a pound. And that's a pound off, and I will take that and I will be happy with it, thank you very much. It was, um, it was possibly undeserved after the two days when I fell off the wagon, but, um, it is what it is, I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining. And this week I may well lose eight stone because I feel so rubbish I don't want to eat at all. It means that I can add one more pound onto my weight loss journey board. Move that one along. Add that one. Giving me a total weight loss so far of seven stone, six and a half pounds. Very pleased with that. Half a pound away from my next half a stone goal. It's going okay. It's um, like I said, it's going to be ups and downs. It's we've talked about this so many times. It's difficult to stick to it now because it's been so long and I'm so bored. But I'm going to keep trying. My new notch arrived, um, so I now have I now I have my seven stone award notch on there. Camera just switched itself off, and I'm not sure how much it recorded, so I'm going to say a bit again just in case. So I've just tried to show you my new notch. Hopefully that came up on the screen before the camera went off. Um, I'm pleased with where I am at the moment. I realise that I say one week I'm I'm pleased, and the next week I'm 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 worried, and I think that's the that's the nature of it, isn't it? You know, our moods are going to fluctuate, our motivation's going to fluctuate. Sometimes we're going to feel more fired up than others. All I can do is keep on keeping on, and keep on gradually plodding in the right direction even if it is two steps forward and one step back I'm still going to get there in the end aren't I thank you to everyone for joining me today I apologize for my grogginess do check out the new chic website as I said I'll put all the details for that in the description box below and um, I'll be back soon I'll be back next week with week 18 take care bye for now